Buzz with Jess Lujan. Oceano uh, Wrestling Championships uh, next month. Let, let, let me ask you this, okay? If, if I was a wrestler, uh, if I was a wrestler and I'm not quite ready for the Oceano, I'm, I'm going to compete uh, in, 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 uh, in, in, in the next contest. As former administrator of the bodybuilding, I know there were some prerequisite meets that we have to do before you go to the next right. one. Is that is is that kind of the same thing with wrestling? It's actually it's totally the same thing. Really? It's, okay. Okay. So Oceania so. serves as our continental championship, mm -hmm. and to do any tournament beyond this, like if you want to do the worlds, world okay. juniors, world cadets, mm -hmm. even world grappling, mm -hmm. right? You have to do the Oceanias. Okay. That, I mean, that's just basically the rules so if you want to go to the next one if you're you looking to at that and maybe one after that right you, you got to get on the mat in this right. one yeah okay if you're not quite ready you, i mean even if you go out step on the scale weigh in step on the mat if you even forfeit your match you, i mean you still qualify for the, that next tournament you qualify okay right. so again um what message you want to get out there to to again the the folks that want that that are looking to get licensed uh, as as ref and, and likewise uh, athletes i mean any Previous wrestler, former wrestler, right. or any high school current wrestler, I mean, reach out to me, Melker. We're on mm -hmm. Facebook. I mean, you know where Spike 22 Gym is. We, we make our numbers available. Um, call us, get get involved, get back into it. Mm -hmm. I mean, prepare. I, mean, I know it's $120. A lot of people look at that cost, but mm -hmm. that's a license that's that's valid for one mm -hmm. whole year. Yeah, and that's one okay. whole year worth of tournaments that you can you guys can do. Melker, as uh, what are the dates? The dates of the wrestling meet. April 7th to the 12th. To the 12th. Okay, can you, what, what happens in those dates? Um, April 7th is a referee clinic. Okay. April 8th, Greco at UOG Fieldhouse. Uh -huh. April 9th, Freestyle UOG. April 10th, Gi and No Gi at UOG. Uh -huh. And April 11th, Amateur Pan Creation and MMA. And then the 12th at the Beach Bar Beach Wrestling. Okay, now what time do these things start at the, at the Fieldhouse? Uh, athletes arrive at 9 o'clock. First mm -hmm. match at 10, 10 to 12. They take a break, one hour break. They come back on again around 1 at 1.32. They wrestle all the way and we'll do finals at 5. At 5 o'clock, uh, yeah. okay. Now, and those, uh, are, is there a fee to get into the, to the Fieldhouse? Uh, it's probably, we'll do it a small fee, like 3 $5 or something. Okay. Yeah, uh, just, per, per day? Per day. Per, per day. Yeah, okay. and you, can, you okay. can come in in the morning, mm -hmm. get your ticket, go home, come back, and then come back and watch the finals again at 5 o'clock. At 5 o'clock, okay. So Actually, you, it's a good deal. It's a great and deal. I we encourage all the islands. So you got, you got, you got, you know, the Chickies, I, uh, the, the, the Marshall, the Yappies, right. mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. I mean, the Saipan. Everyone, please come out and support your local wrestlers. Support there your we go. country. You there know? we go. Support your country. There we go. So that's happening next month. Uh, let, let me ask you before we, we get off, and we're getting off here uh, pretty quick. How how easy is it as uh, you you've made the transition? You're a wrestler still, a grappler, mm -hmm. an MMA guy. How easy is it for for uh, for a wrestler? To, to again get into into MMA? It's very easy and, and when you wrestle so long and so hard, mm -hmm. MMA becomes easy, Jiu Jitsu becomes easy, boxing mm -hmm. becomes easy because mm -hmm. wrestling, you're, you're training so intense for, mm -hmm. a, for very long. But some people, you gotta learn how to, to knock off the bad habits and mm -hmm. that's why I'm pretty good at that. You know, I'm pretty good at using wrestling for Jiu Jitsu, I'm, I'm really good at using wrestling for MMA and really using, you know, wrestling for wrestling. And some people can't, some wrestlers, when they transition, it's a, they give up their back too much or they're, they're, they're very still wrestler mentality. They don't mm -hmm. know how to, so I think a wrestler can be very dominant and it shows in the UFC, it shows in the price, the mm -hmm. K1s, the dreams. Wrestlers are very dominant, but mm -hmm. you gotta learn how to switch it off mm -hmm. and change and transition into a fighter or be a guard player. So, so basically, basically you're saying, uh, a good MMA, a great MMA uh, a fighter is a great wrestler. A great wrestler. Yeah. And, and, and if you don't like wrestling, I don't care what they say, they need wrestling. They, wrestling. Need, they, they <laughs> gotta wrestle. They always wrestle. They, 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 they gotta you, wrestle, you, yeah. You go to every wrestling camp, you, would, you, don't, you don't see a jiu-jitsu mm -hmm. or a boxer there, but if you go to every MMA camp, you'll right. always see a wrestler there. You go to a jiu-jitsu camp, you will see a wrestler there teaching them the basics and fundamentals of wrestling. There we go. Gentlemen, hey, very uh, good luck. I'm looking forward to this. Hey, I got five days of of great wrestling to watch in all, all forms. All forms. <laughs> all forms. <laughs> hey, join me tomorrow morning in the buzz. It's Leslie's 3, it's our radio station. Let's talk about this, you know, we're talking sports, hopefully next week as well, okay? Um, maybe soccer next week. Tomorrow morning. See you then.